Hi, welcome to CCM's new Spitfire Hangar 71. I'm John Drogan and today I'm going to be taking a few of the bikes out, giving you uh, uh, an honest review. Yeah, okay, I get paid by the company to say good things, but I'll tell you how it feels and you can see what it's like on the road and so on. So uh, enough of me talking, let's get started. We'll get out the road. It's a nice sunny day uh, for a change in December um, and let's get some miles on these bikes. See you later. Well, we picked probably the best, well, maybe the best day in December to, uh, to do this. A bit of California dreaming, we're on the bobber, the sun's shining, we've got beautiful men in shorts. Uh, what, what could you ask for? Right, here we go. So, first of all, the, uh, just present the uh, key fob down there little bit of cold start lever it's not that cold in there where it's been stored Bobber's a really really good rider slightly canted forward so uh, good if you're uh, you know if you want to sort of get your head down and make some progress but the seat the saddle seat is really comfortable uh, nice relaxed position, uh, mid uh, foot controls, first gear selects really easily. Right, let's uh, go and see uh, how it feels. Same with all these engines, you know, they're really easy to, uh, to ride. Um, loads of low down torque, really delicate throttle control. Real nice characterful feel. It's great for dipping through traffic. That uh, same Husqvarna motor's got a nice sense of eagerness about it. Doing the speed limit, it just feels like a nice place to be, you know. Just um, comfortable, relaxed, especially on a day like today. I've got a flip top visor or helmet, should I say, and um, I've got the, uh, the bottom part open. There's a lovely breeze, and it's just you know, very enjoyable place to be uh, to be sat. But you've got a um, nice bit of torque on tap when you need it. Today feels like a day that is just perfect for biking. I've got my winter suit on, you know, but I'm, uh, it's a nice temperature, it's really fresh. The bike's really light, uh, maneuverable. The Avon, uh, they're a dual compound sports tyre. They really do work this bike, really comfortable. Rolls really well, turning is fantastic, and that, uh, that sort of gobful of torque—it's quite—it's uh, quite addictive just to keep keep uh, opening up with that lovely induction roar you get from these 600cc single motors. It 
really is uh, a lovely uh, oral treat. Not to be confused with the other one, because that's you don't want to do that on a bike. And with uh, horrible, broken up roads. So uh, this bike just surprised me when I first rode it. It's not my style of bike at all, the bobber. I'd much prefer one of the other ones, or should I say, I did when I first saw them. But as soon as I rode this bike, I just fell in love with it. You know, today would be a perfect day just to head to the coast, Yorkshire Dales, Lake District, take the scenic route, fish and chips. Yeah, I've got to go back to the office though. But my view from this office right now is fantastic. Yeah, gearbox on these bikes is superb. It's got six very close ratios. They uh, they all basically you can find them very very easily. There's a nice positive feel. It's one of the nicest gearboxes that uh, I've enjoyed. You know, I'm sure if you've ridden lots of different bikes, how many times you've been out for a ride, you come back and your left foot, just <coughs> at the base of your big toe, is really, really sore from having to uh, keep forcing that gear lever up. Not on this bike. Yeah, it uh, is a great. Uh, I know we, we get all the the trolls on Facebook and so on. You know, sort of trying to find fault, uh, picking on the, the most. Oh, it's an old most. It's an old engine. Well, for me, it's proven. It's durable. It's reliable. It's been developed properly. You know, it was designed by uh, by BMW and Husqvarna prior to the KTM takeover and um, it's a properly sorted machine it starts it runs and it's got great personality it really suits these bikes I love it doesn't take long to get out to some uh, lovely scenery very soon some great roads from the factory and uh, you know, we're kind of lucky that we don't have to go too far to test the bikes. Set up the way they handle, the way they feel. Just wind it on. It's a real pleasure. sort 
of uh, offensive like some motorcycles can be. That's it these days, you know. We uh, we love to ride, but we don't want to give people excuses to kind of stop us doing what we enjoy. Roman road, not quite as straight uh, as a guy, but Watling Street. I don't know why Watling Street is called Watling Street. And some postcards. Is that you know in this 
day and age with crowded roads and distracted drivers, these bikes give you enough of a thrill without tempting you to do ridiculous speeds and kind of, you know, tempt you in the way of danger or losing your license or whatever. Yeah, I mean, front brake's powerful, I didn't need it then. Just, uh, back brake. And here we are, back at the Pleasure Dome. So, fire and kill. And always remember to uh, switch off at the fob. Get a little nobble there, get a bit of traction. Flick it up. Watch your side stand there. So, really good day for a ride.